Traditional telephone networks are examples of circuit switched networks. When Alice wants to connect with Bob in traditional telephone network for a voice conversation, before the conversation can begin, the network establishes a connection between Alice and Bob. This connection is called a circuit. The end-to-end -end resources along this path are reserved between Alice and Bob. Circuit switching in a link is implemented using frequency division multiplexing, FDM, or time division multiplexing, TDM. In FDM, or frequency division multiplexing, frequency spectrum of a link is divided among the connections established across that link. In TDM, or time division multiplexing, users time share by receiving a dedicated fixed length time slot in a time frame. Let's explore TDM and FDM with an example. Assume we have four users indicated by numbers one to four and color coded with blue, green, yellow, and pink respectively. Assume we have a circuit switch link and we want to examine frequency and time allocation in either of FDM and TDM scenarios. If we are using FDM, we have to assign a specific frequency band to each user. This frequency band is dedicated to that user all the time during the reserve time of the connection. We can see this in figure one, with different colors allocated along the frequency axis. The same frequency will be kept for each user for the whole time that the connection or circuit is reserved. If we are using TDM, a fixed length time slot within a fixed length time frame is allocated to each user. We can see this with fixed length allocation of time to each user along the time axis. Users can send on all of the dedicated spectrum on that specific time slot. The allocated time slot could only be used by that user, and if not used by that user, will remain unused. In figure two, you can see that we have time frames of four slots each, and each user has one time slot. If, for example, user two does not use their time slot, that time slot will be unused during the connection time. In packet switching, on the other hand, there is no resource reservation along the path. Packet switching is usually done by a store and forward transmission. A packet, in simple words, is a package of information resulted from segmenting data represented in bits of zero and one values and adding a few fields called header to them to specify the details of the packet. The packet switch receives the entire packet on its incoming link then it places the entire packet on its outgoing link. Assume we have a packet of data of length L, meaning the data packet has L bits in it. This packet needs to be sent from source A to destination B, as shown in the figure. There is one switch on the path from A to B. There is a link with capacity R bits per second connecting A to a port of the switch and there is a link with capacity R bits per second connecting another port of the switch to B. With a store and forward, packet with length L is first sent from A to the switch at full capacity. It is stored in the switch till the link from switch to the destination B becomes available. And when it is available, switch puts the packet with length L on the link towards B. Packet switching allows more users to use the network. We will explore how and why. In packet switching, hosts or in systems break the messages into packets. Packets go from one switch to the next across the links on the path from source to destination. 
while the packet is being transmitted on a link, for the whole duration of the transmission, the packet has the full link capacity, not a portion of its time or spectrum. There are two main network core functions, routing and forwarding. Routing determines the route or path between the source and the destination. Forwarding determines the move of the packets from the input of the switch or router to the output. Forwarding in the switches are done based on the tables that are calculated during routing. Let's do another comparison example. Let's say Alice wants to deliver a package from her home to Bob's home. She uses the map to find a path to Bob's home, determining the whole path, which roads to take and where to turn all the way. This is similar to routing. However, at each intersection, she needs to decide to turn left or right or go straight. That is similar to forwarding. These decisions on turns are based on the overall path, similar to the decisions on forwarding based on the tables calculated during routing by running a routing algorithm. Forwarding is a router's local action, moving arriving packets from a router's input to its output. Routing is a global action, determining source to destination path taken by packets.